Do you think that Diddy kind of did this because he felt like somebody had to take the fall? Well, that's you got to realize these lawyers know each other some way, somehow. When they got all, they, when they got the discovery, the New York lawyers, the prosecutors are going to say, you know, somebody got to take a fall for this. We're not letting this happen. You understand? And Sean got caught with his weapon on him. Puff knew Sean had to take the fall. Wolf would have taken, if Wolf would have got charged with anything, he was a three time loser. His, the, the, the uh, sentence that he would get would have to be 25 to life. Because he, he had already had uh, uh, gun charges, drug charges, all that stuff like that. He'd have been a three, he'd have been a three time loser. So, the less that he could have got in that type of situation was 25 to life or 20 to life or something like that. So Sean had to be the one to take the fall because Puff was not going to go to jail. Not at all. Okay. So here's where things kind of get, you know, kind of, kind of wild, man. So the dude scar did a written statement to the police saying that Diddy and him had hits out on each other and that he wouldn't uh, take the stand against Diddy because he was scared for his life and that that's why he didn't testify. Well, I would think he wouldn't testify because Scar was a gangster. And gangsters do gangster things, right? And if he would have got on a stand against Diddy, then would he have been a gangster? Hell no. They wouldn't look at him that way. J-Lo was there that night with Diddy. Mm -hmm. And Sean says in a few different things, two different interviews, that he saved their life. Well, I look at it like this, is that I don't believe none of them was trying to sh shoot nobody because all the shots ricocheted off the stuff that was in the ceiling. <laughs> you get it? The people who got yeah. hit was because they got hit from things that was ricocheting, the bullets that was ricocheting from the things from out the air, the lights and the the uh, the uh, the structures. So if they they was at close enough proximity, if they was trying to kill each other or shoot each other, they would have got somebody would have got shot. Really, most of the shots were from. Gun, gun, gun bullets ricocheting off the ceilings and shit like that. I think one security person probably got shot in the leg. Didn't you read that? I didn't see or any, hear anybody talk about no paperwork about that. But I, in an interview, Shine says that he shot the guy that pulled a gun on him, and that he shot the guy in the shoulder. When yeah. you know, when like he was like, yo, when I seen dude reaching for his gun. I pulled out my gun and shot him. That's that was in the interview that Shine said. Okay. Would Puff get harassed like this when he would go out, or was this just like a, a just you know a, an off situation? We never around anyone. Uh, we never allowed anybody to get that close to him when we go out because we have our own section. But because this was something prompt to that Puff just popped up with Jennifer Lopez, it was no security there to have it set up, whereas that he have his own section so individuals don't get that close to him. 
Now, anytime we went to certain places, we had a section and we didn't allow individuals to get close to Puff. Yeah, this seems like a really kind of a crazy situation, you know, being that, you know, I, I guess it all started over a drink being spilled. So, you know, Puffy accidentally bumped into somebody, spilled the drink. They started arguing. Shine actually knew these guys. You know, they were from Brooklyn, too. It, it, it just seemed like a really and then, you know, like like you were saying earlier, you know, one of them threw money on Puff. Like, oh, we got money to just seem like a. You know, a kind of situation that wouldn't really happen to someone like Puff. Well, if uh, if the right, if the security was there like it's supposed to be when he's at a function at a place like that, things like that usually don't happen. But because, yeah, like what, I said, what happened with Wolf? I, I would think Wolf would have been the one. But Wolf, you know, see what what, what people don't understand is is that. Wolf was not really security. Wolf was one of the individuals that gave Bad Boy their starting money. He was getting a security check for social security reasons and all that. You know what I mean? As if he worked security. Yes, Wolf was a... He was a gangster. But... Wolf wanted me to quit my job. Well, they wanted me to quit my job and be full-time security for Puff. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of having them on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, stuff like that, they wanted me to be there full. Wolf wanted me to be there. Paul wanted me to be there. And I was like, nah, I'm, stay I'm keeping my state job. Y'all niggas is crazy. Y'all out y'all mind. We're not doing that. So Wolf was not really security, but he's security because who he is. He didn't have to work no, he didn't have no, no schedule to work. Wolf was just with Puff at the parties and at the events. You know what I mean? But Wolf was part yeah. of the crew that gave Puff that startup money. Okay, so then they didn't really have any security with him that night. Not That's really. crazy. Damn. Okay, well, this situation... I believe caused J Lo and Diddy to break up. Along with some other stuff. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.